Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Just want to quickly show you the investigation that you're going to be doing for your end of year project. So, the whole point of the investigation is that we're going to find out how the force applied to this trolley here affects its acceleration. So the way we're going to apply the force is by using this cup here, which is weighted down with batteries. Oops. We're going to drop this cup here, on this pulley here, and it's going to accelerate the buggy forward. So you want to find out how changing the amount of force that we apply, the amount of weights that we put into this cup here, affects this acceleration. So the first thing you do is construct your setup here. So the first thing to construct is your buggy. Now the way I made my buggy is by putting two plastic sparks here on either side. I put on the top here a straw on the bottom here a straw as well. I held these together using some skewers. And then the wheels, I made them using skewers inside this uh, straw here with two milk bottle caps on either side. You can make it in your own way, be as creative as you can. I'm sure you can make yours better than mine. At the top of it, I put this cup here so I can hold in the batteries which we're going to use as masses and explain to you why I've put all the batteries in the cup here in a second. After you're cupping to construct your string, there's a guide on Teams showing you how to construct your string out of um, plastic bags. Okay. Once you've constructed your string, you need to construct the pulley system here. Now this is very simple, it's got a U-shaped cardboard thing here I've constructed. Again, the guide is on Teams. I put two holes in here, I put straws inside each hole, I put a skewer going through it, and in the middle here I've got um, two milk bottle caps and a water bottle cap. Okay, and this spins freely like this. So the point is that the string sits on top of the pulley, and then you let go and it pulls it down. Now this might be better than the table here. So once you've constructed everything, and again, like I said, do it in your own way. Um, the ramp, I made out of two cardboard boxes, two cereal boxes, wheat wick box here and the got a Cheerios box there. I joined them together using this little shape here. Again, there's a guide on Teams that tells you how to do that. Uh, I put tape on the bottom to hold them together. Once you've constructed all this, you need to carry out your investigation. So you need to find out how changing the force applied to the front, or how changing the number of batteries I put in this pot here, affects its acceleration. Now, one thing we need to keep in mind is that the mass of the system needs to stay the same. So the system includes this buggy here, includes a string, and includes this pot here at the front. This is the whole system. For this investigation to be correct, the mass of this whole system needs to be the same in every uh, run. The way we do this is that, if you see here, I've got five batteries in here, and I've got one battery in here. So altogether, I've got six batteries. So after I've done my first trial, so do it three times, find an average, um, time how long it takes to get there, from that find the acceleration, I'm going to increase the force applied to the front. So to do that, I move one battery from this pot here and put it into this pot here. Now I've got two batteries in here, I've got four batteries in here, altogether I still have six batteries, the mass is still the same across the whole system, but I've increased the force acting to the front. So you can do that, do it for all six weights, you can get the batteries from your AC remote, I'm not going to tell you where to get batteries from. Everything else you should have it at home or collect it throughout the week and use it. It's all trash and thrown away. I'm not telling you to do it this way, I'm telling you to be creative, find your own way to do it. Work safely anytime you have to pierce a hole through something and like that, ask your parents to help you with it. Make sure you clean all the food stuff and all the food residue to make sure that we don't, you know. Yeah. Have fun with it, enjoy it. Ask us for help, ask a teacher for help, ask me on Teams for help. Put a comment on this video if you need help. Good luck.